you can't just show up and pretend to be a nurse, and especially in a Tobias Lindholm film, which he's he really wants it to feel like it's happening in the moment, and you have to look like you know what you're doing. And also, we were surrounded by healthcare workers. All the extras on set were, actually did that for um, their professions. So yeah, it was a huge responsibility to get it right. I mean, I think during the pandemic, we all would, you know, would go outside and clap at, at seven, or I don't know what time it was here in New York, seven, to celebrate them and acknowledge them. And now the pandemic's over and I feel like we've forgotten about them. They're still doing the work. They're still underpaid and overworked and understaffed and underappreciated. And it's important for me to acknowledge them and thank them because, uh, they're working really hard to save the lives of our loved ones, and, and we need to acknowledge that. It's a film that, yes, it's true crime, but it's not one that uses violence to end violence. It uses compassion, humanity, and love uh, to end the cycle of violence. It has Amy remind Charlie that he's a human being and that she loves him. He's not a monster that everyone's treating him, and that's what is able to reach through. So I find that to be a really exciting message to put out into the media and into the world.